Hey everybody, welcome to the Alias Frequently Asked Questions. Today we're gonna to be quickly going over the receiver and how to get it installed on your belt. So you're gonna have your receiver and you're gonna have your Torx key that came with it. I'm just gonna show you a few different belts and how to get it set up on it. So one belt that I have here, this is a Core Essentials. This is one of my dress belts. This is actually one of the uh, carry carry belts, so it's uh, it's structured for, for carry. So one of the nice things about a belt like this and most of your open-ended belts is you're gonna go ahead and slide it through all your belt loops until the ends open where you would like it to, to go. You're gonna take your receiver and slide it on to your desired location, whether that's appendix or you know, three or four o'clock, wherever you wanna put it, go ahead and slide it there. Now, I like to have mine snug so that it can't, we wanna make sure that it can't rock back and forth left to right, but that it's snug that way, but that I liked it to slide a little bit. Now let's say you get your receiver, you put it on there and it's it's rocking around a little bit, it's kind of loose. I'm gonna show you a quick trick to make that a little bit tighter. So you're gonna go ahead and loosen all four screws just a little bit. You're gonna slide the belt brackets out a little bit. They're slotted, so it'll do that. Then you're gonna just barely tighten them back up again to get them locked in. Now what you're gonna wanna do is just through your own hand strength, I wouldn't recommend using tools or a hammer or anything like that, but you're just gonna wanna pinch in on the brackets just a little bit to flex them in a little bit more and you'll see the angle start to, to close in. Then you're gonna go ahead and loosen everything back up and you can slide it over your belt again, pinch that closed, and go ahead and tighten everything up. Again, making sure not to over tighten these screws. Now we purposely did not lock tight these because we expected you're gonna want to adjust them. If you wanna put a little bit of blue Loctite on there, just to make sure they don't come undone, that's totally fine. You really shouldn't need to, I would just every, every once in a while, just check the screws, make sure they're tight. So now this, uh, this is a little bit tighter on there. It's not sliding around so easy. This is one of the, this is a thinner dress belt. You're gonna see a little bit of, of movement of the belt inside the brackets, totally fine, totally normal. It's not gonna go anywhere. Uh, that's why we recommend using a concealed carry belt, something that's structured and is, is not gonna flex like a, like a cheap leather belt. All right, let me show you the next popular belt is one with a cobra buckle. Now this is one that you're not gonna be able to, to, uh, to, after you get your belt on, put the alias on it, which is okay. The alias is thin enough that it can fit through most of your uh, belt buckles. So I went ahead, all these are loose. Go ahead and loosen all four screws and you're gonna see it just fits right over top of the webbing like that. And then Again, this is this is the it's one of our belts from Blue Alpha, Blue Alpha gear. So this is just a, a standard one and a half inch webbing concealed carry belt. So again, it's it's very rigid, so it's not going to come undone. It's not going to come out of the brackets. So you can see here, <clears throat> I have it have a place again. I like it to slide a little bit so I can kind of fine tune once I get it on. But again, if you want to do the method that I showed before of pinching it down you can really get it, to, get it to lock on to your belt and stay in place. And again, this will fit through your belt, belt loops. Some people find it a little bit easier to do that with your pants off and to fit it through, or you can do it with your pants on, but this is, this is one way to get it on there. So there you go. That is just a real quick way of attaching the receiver to your belt. If you have any more questions, see the other FAQ uh, section on our website for further instruction. Thank you guys so much. Carry on.